All right, let's get this going. No opening tonight, no fancy opening. I had zero time to prepare for this one. I don't think I announced the show till six. Yeah, I, I, I mean, we're going to do this Thursday. Usually it's a Tuesday show, but I had Thursday plans initially, but I decided to move my Thursday plans to Tuesday instead, and we'll do my Tuesday plans on Thursday. So let's pretend tonight is Thursday, but we're still at the right day of a Tuesday, which is a normal time slot of the show, albeit 22 minutes late due to finalizing small details. Back wall tonight, just want to do a quick shout out. If anybody wants to advertise their jerseys or their teams or events or their leagues, they have a league shirt or tournament shirt, like a tournament flag, look up there, the Ocean City flag for Rampage. Shout out to them. They won that tournament. Um, you see the Severino flag. We always fly that proudly every week for the KFFL champions, the Killer Bees. We also have two other OMFFL participants, the WCFFL 2020 champion, Misfit Square in the middle. They're one of the odds on favorites to come on this tournament and win. And what's going to be a very deep, very deep playoff in this league. Bulls, the up and comer underdog. They got a lot of fight in them, a lot of toughness. They're battle tested by now. They're ready to go. Is this the stage that they can succeed? Can they make? Can they sneak in, perhaps, to a semifinal, maybe a championship? They are the underdog in this league who has made it very far, in my opinion, against some of the best teams in the country. The two teams participating in the championship on Sunday in Williamsport, Broad Axe, Spartans. Broad Axe going for another championship. I think they'd be at their 12th, 13th for that one. Something like that. I've lost track on that. They had a dynasty for seven, for about six years yeah, over the there. Numbers got here, not me. Yeah, I think it was nine in a row, and then about three before. So this will be about number thirteen, I do believe, for Broad after they win on Sunday. They're taking on the Tri-State Spartans, who I know you guys and the other have felt familiar with. Bad Boys got a taste of them in Ocean City. That was a great competitive matchup. Um, Spartans will be back in tournament play in Baltimore. They're coming to Kenwood. The Tri-State Spartans are coming to Kenwood for the Charm City Classic, August 7th and 8th in Essex, Maryland, Kenwood High. They'll be there. They're going to be taking on Broad Axe this weekend for the Washington County Flag Football League Championship and Williamsport. Should be a good competitive matchup between those two. Broad Axe beat them twice in the regular season. Meet uh, first game was a very close one between the two, 27-19 when they faced off at the beginning of the season. Second game was a blowout between them. Broad Axe won 21 nothing and rather winning the Bassford Heritage Bowl Championship. So Broad Axe already got one championship this year. They got a Bassford Bowl. Can they get a Washington County Spring Championship? Or will the Tri-State Spartans win a championship for their first time? This isn't the first time for Don. This will be his fifth championship game appearance, B or A, in league play. Can he finally get one? We got a lot to talk about, but right now, our attentions are at Owings Mills for tonight. Just wanted to pay tribute to all the teams we got on here tonight. They are in championship contention. Misfits, Bulls, Rampage. Misfits are the defending champion of another league coming over. Killer Bees, the KFFL champions. Broad Axe and Spartans, they're going to be going out of our championship on Sunday. That's a shout out right now. Anybody in the area. <laughs> hey, I'm just doing an advertisement. You know how I am. I improvise these on the fly, guy. But anyways, we're looking forward to it. If you got a jersey, any team, past, present, future, your brand, your whatever, and it happens to accommodate the show we're doing, we'll hang it up. We'll have it out there for you. Shout out to the jerseys on display tonight. The Bulls, Misfits, Rampage, Tri-State Spartans, Killer Bees, and Broad Axe. Boy, we have a show for you inside the OMFFL. We are getting close to the end of this season. Here we are, playoffs, regular season done, postseason here. Let's uh, talk about what happened the other day, Ross. Uh, you were there. I was there. We were all there, man. All, every single one of us was there down at Essex, Maryland. It was a good time. Let's get to a recap real quick. First game I had in my field was Rampage Titans. Uh, that game tied at seven. 
Always love it when this thing decides. Yeah, they tied at seven. They ended up tying at seven. Titans had a chance to win at the end of a field goal. Um, however, it was blocked. And as a result, Ram Page managed to get the win. Really happy for them. Really excited for those guys. Sorry, I slipped up, Ty. I always get ahead. I'm thinking the next two games they did. Spoiler alert, Rampage wins out. Yeah, I don't know that. Yeah, but I it was – I never heard the score the first one. Seven to seven. That was a dog fight, a very good dog fight between those two. And as a result of that – Seven to seven. That was a dog fight. Come on, bro. Facebook is annoying with that, bro. Come on. Yeah, it's like you you don't you click off the video and it's like you want to it's like you click off the video but it's like yeah you want on the video it's like no nah, I was trying to get away from that my first name is what Misfits Bulls yeah talk about Misfits Bulls Ross pretty one sided game that's what it looks like looked like the Misfits are in postseason mode they didn't have fully everybody there but the Bulls, I think they're the ready Bulls, to go like I said the Bulls they have a good defense they just they're lacking offense. They need a line. They need a better line. They're, they're, the quarterback from the last time I saw him compared to Sunday, Sunday he was literally just heaving it up. Just, just throwing it up there. So, it's not good situation. Especially when you got Zeke back there lurking. Yeah, and it was a it was a problem for this Bulls team to get anything going against Misfits on Sunday. Tough struggle out there, but Bulls were good to go. They're prepared for next week. They yeah, they knew they're – yeah, they were good to go. It was just a matter of who they were going to play. That was the question. They were, for the most part, just seeing how that would play out. They couldn't make it, though, against Misfits. Misfits get the dub. Um, shout out to them. Moving on to the next game. My field, it was Rampage and Bad Boys. 21-12 was the final. Not really as close as the final score would indicate, though. Um, it was 21 nothing about midway through the fourth. And then Rampage tried to double pass. It got picked off um, after the Bad Boys had scored, I believe. And I'm trying to remember this correctly. If I'm wrong, uh, let me know. Uh, Zach threw a touchdown pass to Jaleel. It was actually uh, – oh, that was their best play of the year. Like, that was awesome. I think you said you saw that as well. Yeah, they did it. They had Zach throw another time too, but then there was a time where he threw it back to Jaleel. I like it. That's a pretty good use of uh, Zach in that system. Mm-hmm. Like, he's a very dynamic player, very talented. Um, one of the more underrated players in the DMV. I know he gets a lot of talk around here, but not a lot of people seem to know him outside of the area. But that's just how it is when you don't really get a chance to see a lot of guys. But he is definitely a great talent out there for the bad boys. Um, they ended up getting a pick on Rampage later, and Rampage tried to double pass, uh, which some of Rampage's sideline was upset about because they felt like they should be trying to run the clock out. Because, you know, it's true. You got to practice those game time situations in that time. You got to work on those. Like, it does get tempting. You want to get the points, you want to keep the energy, run the score up just in case, you never know what can happen, but you don't want to take too many risks. Cause if you go too many times to the mill, you know, it tends to not work out after a while. Just end up in the ass. Yeah. And unfortunately it almost did for them. Um, they avoided one there. Um, so that was a victory for rampage. With that, Rampage needed to win one more because of the tie. They had to win two because of the fact that it would have been a point differential with Titans, which I'm not sure what it was at the time. But I do know, I think the Titans' lone loss to Rebels was maybe, I want to say it was 10. It was 10. But they also beat Elite by, no, it might have been less than that. It might have been one. I'm trying to remember. Week one's kind of shuffled in my head a little bit because that was a while ago now. I know they lost to Rebels, um, but they did beat Elite 34 nothing. That's very notable because Rampage didn't get a chance to play Elite, so they didn't really get 34 for that because of the forfeit rules. So they actually – they gave them a beatdown, which we saw uh, the Maryland Titans highlight video last week on inside the OMFFL beginning, Josh Floyd, hyping up the Maryland Titans in that interview. They looked pretty good. That was the team he was talking about, right, the Titans? In that uh, video I posted last week, uh, 
because he was right. They looked pretty good. They had a good line, and that team looks pretty good, man. Titans look great. And that highlight video against that uh, – who was that team in the white? Delete? Delete. Yeah, yeah delete. Yeah, they looked pretty good, man. Um, like that Titans highlight video. But – Yeah, they were one of the first. They were one of the first teams I saw from the circuit. They came out to Hagerstown in 2016. They won the tournament, beating Red Knights in the chip. They also beat the OG ADR Too Much Talent squad with TJ Sean Motes, Damian Kaysan. That group was loaded. We had Quadar Murphy on that team. That team got to the semis, fell just short to the Titans. TJ just didn't have time. Your boy, Keith Cameron, he was on the team. Starting center. Yeah, Brock and Brock was on the team too. Crazy times. What a squad. The purple gray, spray painted shirt. I still have that. I think Great. that was my final decision on that. When I saw the jerseys, I was like, no, I'm good. Good times. But Titans, man, they went out there. They won that tournament. I get a lot of credit. I respected them after that. Like they beat two really good teams in uh, Knights and TMT that tournament. And right now they're on a resurgence. They're on a renaissance. They're one of the teams who I think are the most improved. Don't get me wrong. They've always been there. They've always been in the thick of things. But, like, it's been a while since they've really been a contender on terms of a major event like this. But I feel like they're getting – they're back in there. They're definitely back in the fold. Circuit's been up and down because traveling stuff, you know. And you get different competition depending where you go. Uh, they had to play the champion of Ocean City in uh, the last tournament. You go back to Nationals, they had to play Rampage as well. Two tough yeah. Sunday matchups. Yeah. Um, last tournament, I think they played Browns, right, on Sunday? They played the Browns from Connecticut, uh, GCFFA. Not the KFFL Browns. That would have been sad if they lost to them, actually. <laughs> but – Honestly, I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing how they perform come playoffs. Um, going back over to the games, your field, what was your second game? Uh, no Mercy and Venom? Yeah. Hey, shout out for using the OG Scorpions logo in that one. Did you have the new one? I did somewhere, but it might not be on it. That phone's weird. We got to – Yeah, we got to look into that phone. That phone needs to work on a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's cool seeing it, though. I do – I, I miss I miss the scorpion I miss scorpion screen. I don't like the Seahawks screen they're doing. Like that's not the scorpions to me. They're the Seahawks at that point. And as a Rams fan, I can't really mess with Seattle. Even though I kind of like Seattle, I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing of me in Seattle. I still my guys though. They're still my guys. I don't know if they can repeat though. This is a tough bracket. I don't know if it fell a stacked always. Don't get me wrong, should. but I think it's a stronger league this year. A lot of people came back over the field and asked what that score was or who won, and I said Venom won, and a lot of people were shocked. I was pretty surprised, too. I wasn't sure what to expect because I, I I watch your games. It's just I don't turn the volume up because I don't want it to come through on my end. Uh, you don't want to hear another broadcast on a broadcast, like the time people had to hear Green Machine Browns on a Scorpions Rampage broadcast. Great times. Um, and hear like updates about yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Um, but you know, looking at what happened in those games, uh, what happened in your case with Scorpions Venom? Tell me about it. Uh, a lot of offensive mistakes, offensive mistakes, kind of both ways, honestly. Yeah, like Venom's first score came on the Proctor interception. Proctor got picked. And then he had another one where he had the right idea where he was still behind the line of scrimmage. He went to flick it to one of his his guys and threw it right to a better guy. You know what I think happened? But it just, well, even the Mercy Scorpion said they were, they were the colors were too close together. I think that's, yeah, that's, I, I don't, what are we blue? That yeah. lighter blue? Yeah. But that's lighter blue compared to the Scorpions, like what, Seattle color, maybe in like green? No. Some kind of form of blue. They have that, that like gray, green, blue. I had to look at the there film. Was somewhere more than just the blue. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, in Venom's defense, 
No mercy required in couple of colors. Hmm. I don't know. I can't really go off of that. I mean, like sometimes it's both teams have to factor in it, right? That's a factor for both teams. Sort of I mean, don't get me wrong. You had to watch. What was that? Dragons. In, oh, you did that market that. Dragons NWO at AC, where they both wore white. And the yeah. difference was the NWO white had a red number, and the Dragons white had a gold number. So you can tell a little bit because one's a little darker than the other, but yeah. yeah. And then like uh, nationals that happened, uh, Riot Squad and Blazers both wore black. Um, yeah, I get it. It is a disadvantage. That's why, like, whatever I like, as a running team, don't always say like, let's try to make it as opposite as possible to the other team. <laughs> Like when we did TVT, I went like well, black and red because they were opposite the colors. Yeah, you like you can really reverse the red on the spot. Yeah, and I think that helps out a lot. Yeah. And then I had no mercy baffles. Remember see Bad Boys? Yeah, that was yeah, let's talk to uh Eddie about that. My final game was Rampage Venom. Rampage beat them 13 nothing. Kind of a Rampage was just going, I can tell. They wanted to go home. Venom wanted to go home. It was a go home kind of game. And it started out real humid and then it got hot. It got stupid hot. It got stupid hot. hot. That was Kenwood does get very hot though. Having been at Charm City 19, it does get hot. That tournament was extremely Your memories of Charm City 19? Yeah, man. It was uh it was my second year on the circuit. Yeah, it was blazing out there. We played right out in the championship. Man, it's crazy how long ago that was now. Like that was one of those like really good. That's one of my favorite times. And you know what? We got to reminisce a little bit. We got to flashback. It's playoffs time. Let's talk about some matches, some playoff tournament scenarios, because let's be real here. Regular season is just like a giant pool play. But every game was competitive this year. That's the one thing I liked about this league. It felt like nobody was laying down every week. Everybody came out fighting and tough. Yeah, you had to film every elite game. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about your all's experience. They're still learning, though, man. Way off of them, man. They're still learning a little bit, man. It's a lot of new guys over there. It's tough, but you got to at least try to come finish the season now, man. That's, But it happens. Maybe nah, if they come back, all power to them. That's cool. Like, it, I've seen it before. Like, we've had teams fall before playoffs in, in other well, leagues. I'd like to see them regroup, rebrand, and come back out strong. Yeah, we don't need two teams with elite in the name in the same league. That kind of gets uh, confusing a little bit. David Butler, welcome on. David Butler. Hello? Hello. Everybody left. TV? Nobody? Nobody's here. Eddie? What's going on? Nobody. I hear somebody. Yo, everybody there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, everybody got really quiet. It was really <laughs> awkward and uncomfortable. I was we were waiting for, we were waiting for Oh, no, I, was, I thought you was talking to David. Yeah. I, don't know, I never got a response, we so it was kind of weird. I thought I lagged out for a second. It was like, all right, how you fellas doing tonight? We're going on a flashback. I'm doing good, man. Can't complain. Good, good, good. Y'all ready for playoffs? Yeah, absolutely. It's been a long season for us, man. Absolutely. I'm ready for it, dude. Like, this is the – best time of the year it's it's also the worst because it's the end of the season but at the same time this is money day. we are finally on the money day portion of the season mm -hmm. this is gonna feel like a circuit tournament throughout the entire day this is yeah, sunday yeah. All day. kickoff coming as we start three this days of, or three yeah three games and one and that's it there we go we're going old school with this one this is like the first. Damn, we should win this shit. 
Renegades. Man, we should have right won the shit, man. Game. First and foremost, I want to say I miss the Renegades. Like, I like the Renegades jerseys. But the white and gold here is just awesome. First play out of the gate. Yeah, that was surprising that, man. Opening place, the uh, slant across the middle. Was a surprise to the house. My man. Damn, they doing y'all dirty. Nah, they wasn't doing <laughs> us dirty. <laughs> Damn, roll left. I think we had a final drive. I think that's what it came down to was our final drive. It's been a while since I watched this one. Oh, David Bowler had a lead. Okay, I think he lagged out or something. He's got coming back in the room. Charm City 2019. Greg, you were an A for this one. Yeah, I think, yeah, we were an A for all of them. The yeah, Charm City ones. Yeah, you uh, mm-hmm. guys, actually, I want to show in a minute, y'all faced off against Gladiators. You versus Matt Bailey out there. Little did we know the two nine man uh, world champions just a few months later. Matt Bailey. Mm. I didn't even... damn, damn. Baltimore showed out in the A that week. <laughs> wow. What, what hey, back away from the camera, yo. You got for Renegades. What happened to Jim? There we go. Uh, he moved to Pennsylvania. Um, and it just it was too far for him to travel back and forth uh between work and football. Gotcha. Life happens. Yeah, man. Shit suck. But uh I, I Leo picked like up you know up. perfectly I fine. I think Jaleel was I think Jaleel like stepped up in a big way though. He had big shoes to fill. Jim had a really good run with him. And Lil Lil Cat, oh, Lil set up in a huge way. Yes, yeah, 2019. Back right. when the last, the last Charm City Classic. Over. Yeah, this was an awesome tournament to hang out at. Uh, I only did that because I was going to sit over there for the lights. I'm really excited about this year because, like, the team list is looking the same. Yeah, it's a lot of good teams, uh, especially from up north. Yeah, and the one thing that sticks out to me is the eight-man teams. I'm noticing jumping in there too. Who's that? Uh, Baltimore Spartans. Got some skill players. They won the. Uh, I think that's the same one that won the FFWCT uh, eight-man rec championship back at national. So they're going to be coming up in. Okay, okay. Oh, that's dope. So is OTF, who I think is the same OTF for the eight man pro circuit. Yeah, that's that's the team I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it's it's interesting. I'm really I'm hoping they I'm hoping they stay here because that sounds interesting to me. I want to see how that did we watch the Baltimore Spartans uh back at Nitro. That's I believe that's the same one. It almost has to be. I can't imagine another one. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I can't imagine it's it's like, said it. Yeah, they're not. Their line actually looks like it could be a B line, very loose. Like it could actually pass the B line. And I felt like they played some really good ball. If they get enough guys, like they only had about what 15, 20 at uh, Nitro. And they, if they get more guys, which they definitely do. Because anybody's a free agent, you just got to get the line and the athletes are good. We saw what Empire did over. Uh, sorry, David. Over at AC. That shit was crazy. I thought right out uh right out had a solid squad that weekend. I thought they were gonna pull that off. Listen to my skill players, man. Offense. <laughs> Dude, they they were... skill players. You guys lost to a pretty good we were... team, like Empire, <laughs> they just won XFFL. Uh, nah. Nah, we did. We couldn't. We couldn't stretch the field, man. We couldn't stretch the field all weekend. 
<laughs> we couldn't stretch the field all weekend, man. If you watch any of our games, we really ain't get down the field for real too much, man. Defense, defense locked up shit. Jesus. <laughs> Are your offense is trash? Nah. Well, you just say that. I'm trying to stir the pot. Nah, I'm just saying. <laughs> nah, I ain't making no excuses. But I'm just saying in general, though, you got your offense plays, man. We ain't. We have, we have our speed. That's all. Yeah, got you. Let's freestyle and see. Even if you want to know the truth. Oh, Otis didn't play up in the AC, did he? No point. Yes, he did. He did? He did. I thought he set that one out. Yep. <clears throat> nope. He played. He played. A lot of we had a lot of goal line stances. Play good defense, man. Tired, man. I ain't got a lot of driving for me that weekend. You drove what back. We to talking four? about tonight. Yeah, I drove back. And forth. Yeah, I want to play some my Okay. okay. You got a hell of a workout. Yeah, running. Uh, demo said <laughs> running games. Bad boys in three. If we talking about playoffs. <laughs> That's it. I'll be all playing like this. You said, hey, Eddie, still you said bad boys in three or bad boys on three. <laughs> bad boys, uh, both of them. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. We got something for the playoffs. We gonna be ready. Regular season to practice for. So we got we got y'all the regular season. I guess rampage. I'm talking about. Guess I ain't talking about no mercy at this moment. We already handled that business this past weekend. So it did. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and two, Proc. What happened? Was it the jerseys? Was it just a bad day? Like wrong side? What happened, man? You nervous? Nah, man. I mean, did you think? Did you prepare for the venom? Did you prepare for the West Virginia venom instead? <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah hey, they, hey, you know what? They were just a better team Sunday. Bottom line, we had nine. They had nine. Their nine was better than ours. <laughs> That day. We ain't stupid. We know playoffs is a whole different animal. Everyone should know that. Should. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Playoffs is basically the equivalent to a circuit Sunday, in my opinion. Like, this is money day. The Proctor set up. The it's some, I mean, did, did Proctor tank to play this? Um, That's a question Raw says. <laughs> okay. Is he scared of the elite rebels? Why would we be scared of anybody, first and foremost? But why would we be scared of elite rebel, elite rebels? I know, I know. I'm just, just messing. I'll just, just let you me. all know Joey added that part. I did. That's all Joey. Hey, we all said, no, that's you, Joe. <laughs> just don't fall asleep tonight, Ross. No, nah, we good. Oh man! All right, playoffs. Bad boys. It's definitely. Have... What's up, man? That playoff bracket, man. That's looking real like this. they both look both sides. No fake man. Hey, hey, ain't no sleeping out here, yo. Ain't no exactly. sleeping. I look at exactly. It ain't no. Mm -mm. I'm like looking at them all. I'm like, wow, nobody mm -hmm. can slouch y'all. No one. Yeah, that, you won the that's first one. You got somebody else coming right behind them. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna try to yeah. pull up this uh, bracket real quick. Internet's a little slow. My apologies, everybody. Good. Yeah, that, yeah, that's. Whew. I think. I mean, tough. the way everybody playing this year looked better than it was last year playoffs. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I, I, the competition way better. I mean, the competition no was better though. Last year's playoffs was awesome. Can we, I'm gonna, we gotta go back. We gotta go. Back. I think that. I mean, the mud. I mean, the mud helped, but I don't think it was awesome. 
I get that way. My body went in shock. Can turn down. Yeah, the mud definitely helped out a lot of a lot of the mother team. Uh, I yeah. Uh, he said it helped a lot of teams. Yeah, yeah. It helped. Yeah, the mud yeah, helped know. out a lot of other teams. Look at that shit. Yeah, for yeah, for for it to be as bad as it was out there, that was a great championship game. We stayed and watched the whole thing. That was a great Man. championship game. Aftermath yeah, yeah. Olympians, what happened to those teams? Did they fold? <laughs> we got them both. There's a little bit of aftermath in every team, I feel like now. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nick David's internet like bagging. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. Uh. <laughs> this is some shit. This mud. Oh my god, this mud. That shit was terrible. I don't know, uh, Greg. You played a capital. Y'all retired the pink. How does this compare to it? Bro, this was the like I yeah, this was the worst. I can tell you're not comfortable in your footing early on because of the mud. Bro, yeah. Oh, like, where the fall? No where's the fall? You can move properly in there. Like just watching you, it's like you're you're nervous to make a step because it's like we should have won that one too since we on that. Should have won what? Man, yeah, everything everything was like the Capital Classic against Scorpions. Yeah, that field was messy too. I I was on that field for the AFN Petty game, but I can't imagine how it was by the time the B chip started. That yeah, Scorpion's Renegade ship. Y'all gotta bust out the Scorpions jerseys this weekend, just because. I just want to see. Yeah, hey, I, I may need to just to get my rhythm back. After this past yeah, weekend. Yeah, you, you just gotta recapture the magic one more time. You are looking that bad, was you prop? Oh yeah. It just has to be you, prop. You just have to wear that the pink. Nah, I ain't wearing that. What, that I lost That's that, your championship. That was a hell of a game. He got enough championships. Can we make a, can I make a proposal? Can we can we have like the bad <laughs> boys have all the uh renegade guys with renegade jerseys and white and all the aftermath guys <laughs> aftermath jerseys and white? Like you got to talk to the coach about that one. I think that'd be. I, I, I don't know. That's my son. That'd be. That'd be cool. I always like seeing the old jerseys. Bro, that, yo, this this was definitely a defensive battle game, man. This was. Uh, mm, this was a wild day because, like, I got so down I got there. Tackled. The weather was just. I just, so bad. See, I just got tackled like that. That shit was mm-hmm. terrible. Yeah, this is yeah. This side is old now, but I can't say I promise you. Tack. I had the flag, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, oh, no, that's not oh. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. <laughs> I had the flag, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That joint was terrible. Yeah, I, I think um, I think the Capital Classic field may have been a little bit better. I remember yeah, looking at this year. <laughs> oh yeah, hey, definitely was. Especially the other field, y'all played on the um second field. The first field wasn't that bad. Right, it wasn't that bad. The first field wasn't bad. The other, the second yeah, field top. got older. Hold on, which one? Oh, you talking about on the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like the one close to the parking lot. That mm-hmm. one was all right. It was the other one, the one y'all played the um, B championship on. Right. Lost that dumbass. Mm mm mm. Otis killed us that game. Because <laughs> it's ten o'clock, and once you leave, I'm locking my door and not coming back in. So are you standing right over there? They're arguing right. something here. So the argument being made is that the hold was called before the tips pass. 
So therefore, it's, it is a hold on aftermath. Proctor. Look at this shit. <laughs> no foot, man. This is bad, man. This looks like a bad new band. <laughs> this is this is terrible. The other field was in better shape, right? <laughs> They move, they, back, they back, move the field to move down there. We was already up top. I don't even, and the other team came up top. Aftermath yep. came up top. I don't know what the hell that was. Yeah, the other field was better. That was an aftermath thing. Yeah. They were like, no, nah, we ain't playing up here. I was like, damn. I think the field we played on uh, might have been a better suitable for that championship. Yeah, yeah. On the top field. Yeah, definitely. The trenches was terrible that game. No, 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 no. Because her sister's coming. I will say, though, the defense in this game is extremely good, with the, even with the mud. Like, the mud is a factor, but, like, there's a lot of excellent plays being made on both sides of the ball by both teams. And right there, that's but they had two of the top teams, they had the top defenses in the league last year anyway, in my opinion. Right. I know Scorpions were allowing one point per game last season. Right. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a low-scoring game regardless of weather. What do you think of the point jump this season? Because it seems like there's been more scoring in this season than there was last season. Has there been a lot of scoring this year? <clears throat> I feel like it has been. Like, there's been a lot of games where each side's gotten two to three scores. Yeah, like 19, 18, 20. Yeah, you're right. Maybe about three scores. I remember last year there were a lot of seven nothing games, like a lot of 6-3 games. Shit, we were hey, at Prague. We was in all them, wasn't we? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. God damn. Hell like, yeah. I was thinking like Prox's averaging like maybe nine points per game. Has he lost? <laughs> if that, I don't think we averaged that last year. Was, nah. nah. I think it was maybe a touchdown. I think Renegades had the most. The I think Renegades had 14 points per game. They were, like, they were balling. <laughs> Except for when we played them. <laughs> I think that was the only time we didn't score all season. Yeah, and that playoff joint. In the regular season, I don't think we scored in the regular season either. No, yeah, I think y'all beat us. Uh, it was nine six. I think we. I think both games were like nine. We put up nine. Uh, okay, we didn't score. We didn't score in the playoff game. Touchdown. Yeah, nothing in the uh, okay, okay. playoff. I think the the scoring has a lot to do with. There's a lot of merging teams. I can definitely yeah. see that. There are a lot of new teams on these teams. I think this might have a lot to do with it. There is a lot of talented QBs in this league. If you look up and down, you know, you ever stand in balls. Oh, definitely. Nice. You got Doc. You got Chris Boone. Even then, behind Chris Boone is Tay Sosa. Um, you go down after Misfits on the list, I believe, is Elite Rebels, TJ Holston. Um, Lonzel on there as well. Greg Proctor. Um and then even Jaleel, and it's crazy to think where Bad Boys is this year. Eddie, what's been the biggest problem with Bad Boys this year? Like, what do you think's been missing? I think it's been tough competition more than anything else. I went over the other day. Um, you guys have played a ridiculously hard schedule. I think it's gelling together, man. Like, you got – and I didn't mean to speak for you, Eddie, but just because no, – No, go ahead. Go ahead. Of, just because y'all got the – like, the, I mean, we, we pretty much got the other half of the – Aftermath, just like you know, what y'all dealing with, and it's just gelling together. Like it wasn't like we added one yeah, yeah. or two pieces. It was like half a team, and now you're trying to, 
you know, implement. Bill trust. Oh yeah. I'm not cutting you off. I, they didn't really. I don't see. I don't really see what they added too many. I know a couple of linemen, a couple of old linemen. But I mean, y'all skill guys pretty much the same, right, Eddie? Yeah, skill guys are basic. Skill guys are basically the same, but we don't have like maybe one, maybe one or two. Uh, so I feel like changing out. You know, we haven't really had time to come together as like, I guess, as a complete team. We didn't really start practicing until maybe three weeks before the season even started, and even then, it was. Right. Waiting to see who's showing up, who's not showing up. We didn't know who was going where, and stuff like that. Um, gotcha. I, I honestly, like Proc said, it's I honestly don't know. It's just trying to come together as a team. You know, with the Renegades, we've been playing together at least and I, since I've been there for three years. It's been the same, you know, dudes every week, and right. now it's you know. You got different dudes showing up at different times and stuff like that. And, you know, it's trying to put all the pieces together with what's showing up that Sunday. Like, I haven't been there for the past two weeks. I missed four games. So. That's big. That's big. You know? That's, yeah. 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 yeah they you know, we have a couple of guys like that that, you know, have missed, have missed games. Got a question for Prof. Mm -hmm. Do you plan to play as long as Doc? Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> right, look, look, I'll tell you like this, man. As long as I'm having fun, I'm going to continue to play. Like then, then when, it, when it's not fun anymore, then I'll, I'll, I'll quit. So, and right now I'm having fun. It's all the matter, man. This yep. Was fun, this was a fun game to be a part of because you have a field that's just completely gone by this point. Like, there's nothing left to it. And it's crazy to think hours earlier, everywhere on that field was green for this part. And by this point, like, you can't even have any traction. I actually put pleats on to film this game. That's like how bad it got. Joe Blake with cleats on last Wednesday. I left my cleats in the middle of the room. Touchdown. I left my umbrella on the sideline. I think I destroyed the first game. You hear me? I just went all left them in the middle of the room. <laughs> you know what do. Hey, Butler, you remember when they thought the game was over right here? I I honestly thought it was over. Like, I hey. did. Hmm. <laughs> Wrong man to have a play, man. I want to play this back with the audio. Yeah. Uh, touchdown aftermath. Oh, Joey with the commentary. And the entire sideline storms the field. And the team who only surrendered one and a half points per game just surrendered the most crucial of the season. Joe, you'll get me that, man. Extra point pending. Throws it up. Incomplete. There we go. Low snap. Got it. Stepping up. This is one of the most iconic. Like, fire it up. Cut! Right off the gate. Cutting to the outside. We're trying to get the best angle we can. It's hard to see around the bodies. He goes out of bounds. That should be it, I think. No. What was it? One second, second left. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of the craziest yeah, things. This is fucking wild. Throws it up. Ooh. Caught! There was no Where way. Yes! Touchdown! Scorpion! Just because of the end. I don't believe it. <laughs> we are tied at six. <laughs> Ref says touchdown. What a play to tie the game. Oh, bad snap. Ball up. No good. 
We are tied at six, heading to overtime. Snap. Throws it up. Incomplete. Middle. Bobbled. Incomplete. In a good game. There we go. Off the hands. Incomplete. Ball out left side. Dropped again. Bad snap. And it sails over his head. That's snap, though. Screen to the left side. Bobble turning up the field. And out of bounds. Proctor. Running as fast as he can. Going to throw it up. Tipped in and complete. Snap Proctor. Left side complete. Turning up and nowhere to go. Ball now. Kick up. And it is good. The Scorpions are your 2020 OMFFL champions. Yeah, what a win. Yeah, it's going to be all different this year, boy. These, these teams, man, out here. <laughs> Good gracious. That shit terrible. That was the worst. Shit. I think that might have been the worst shit I ever played on my life. Some motherfucking mud was terrible. He must, not yeah. been, he, must, he must not have been a clash of your form. Nah. nah. I missed that one. I missed that one, dog. You know which I one you didn't, you know huh? didn't miss? What? You're going to like this one. You had a good fall last year. Oh, I did, man. You bought out, bro. I did. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. you were everywhere, yo. You were everywhere. Hey, man. <laughs> My schedule. Hey, look. The season's coming to an end. I'm still in two leagues right now. See? And I'm going he's all playing, he's playing, playing two man, three man, four man, five and man. All, and I'm about to go to Albany too. <laughs> you going to Albany? Yeah, I'll be with the Blazers. Oh, you with the Blazers in Albany. Nice. Oh, look at yeah, Robbie can use you out there. <laughs> hey, hey, you tell him I said hi. <laughs> you tell him I said hi. That's all. Uh, hey. I know he hate me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I ain't get to watch. Man, I ain't get to watch no football at AC, dog. I was so man. That shit was crazy. I was dead. I looked to the sideline. I ain't even have a sub. I couldn't even come out the game. I'm the only. Oh, I think I had like, I had like three plays off the whole tournament. They, they look at me. Like, Why are you on the side? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hey, I ain't had no sub. Hey, we were rushing three. You hear oh, me? Shit. Yeah, you getting double team, man. No. Yeah. Man, listen, I'm trying. Hey, hey, Ross. That whole line, double who is something hey, different, Ross. huh? Hey, Ross, am I lying? Oh, no, <laughs> man. Sure I couldn't get no. Show, it, it's, I literally said he was off the three plays and they're calling him back on. Here he comes. <laughs> he, he had two sips of water. And he, now he's getting called back onto the field. <laughs> that AC. Can we talk about that AC heat? Uh, it was, I, oh, that shit was I like that. I like that though. I like the atmosphere we had up there though. I like I that, that park was I really. Like the cold That's cold. I, I like everybody being together. I like everybody in the same field. I like that park. Yeah, yeah. It made you know walking I mean? distance. When you all at the same field, it make it just me it just it just seem more alive. I don't know. That's just, maybe it's just so many people. Yeah, I mean, every, like you said, everybody's in one location. You know, you can like go. That, it, you can easily check other other teams, other games, and stuff like that. So, yeah. that's what I like about Kenwood. That's why they charge city for a spectator just walking in and observing what's happening would be an awesome yeah. event. You're gonna have five games yeah. going on at once in that tournament with five fields. And 
Charm City 19, that's what I liked about it when I went out there for the first time was just how close everything is. Like, you literally can just stand in one place and look at everything. Right. And I think that's going to make this one unique. Um, let me try to pull up a couple of things. First, let me try to pull up what's going on for the team list again. I want to do a Charm City update real quick. Get your all's thoughts on that and we'll get back to playoff discussion next tuesday night glad to see everybody excited for playoffs i know that uh bad boys you guys have titans that was a good game a few weeks ago when you all faced off uh you weren't there though eddie i do believe i think you were not there that day um, no i wasn't there it was a good game though came out to the final drive yeah, mm. that's what I like about this league. It feels like every single game comes down to, like, the final drive. There's not been too many flat-out blowouts this year. And no, everybody is very close in this league. It's not a – normally there's a lot of – it's top-heavy, but this league is very yeah. – uh, It's definitely balanced. Yeah. Definitely balanced. I haven't seen – I haven't seen something like this in a long time. With, with, like you literally said, don't know who can win any given game. Yo, yo. When the last time y'all came? When the last time y'all came in? The seat. Oh man, never probably right. Mm. No, shit. always one two. Man, always I, one I two, right? I lose the record since the first time I played flag, man. <laughs> That's the crazy part. Hey, I, was I like, had an wow. issue. I was, I was like, yo, I, I got to lose the record. Since I was very you guys are five. Yeah. Uh huh. You guys are five. Yeah. yeah. There okay. we go. There's our chart to the positive team list. A at the top, B at the bottom. Um. Looking over, starting out with A, of course, we got the Elite Rebels, Misfits, OTF, the family, the eight man pro team. They're coming up to play A bracket ball. It's going to be interesting to see how they do. Can they get the line? That's the real question. I mean, they probably pulling them from the whole league, though, man. Right. Like that mis- that's like that Misfit effect. <laughs> you got a whole nother uh-huh. area. <laughs> you got the whole one. Oh, no, you, got the, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He ain't, you know what I'm saying? You never know who will turn up. You know what I mean? Now, Mercy Scorpions oh, as well on there. Baez Auto. They're making a jump to A for the first time in a I, tournament. I'm looking forward to seeing them in the A bracket. Man, I, I, think, I think I don't know, man. Y'all want, you want to know my opinion? I think oh, what? A lot of people. I think. A, I think a lot. I think a couple teams jumped in that A bracket because there wasn't no team from up north in there yet. That's yeah. in my opinion. <laughs> but I'll leave it alone. I feel like somebody got hustled because I know damn well four thousand they was coming. <laughs> oh hey, about, hey, 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 listen. I'm gonna. I just my just my opinion. A, a bracket tournament be where like 2,500, 1,500, right? Yeah. They don't be, yeah. Come on, man. You don't think they was coming for 4,000? I don't right, feel like some right. people were overlooking it. I'm just, that's just my opinion. But hey, who am I? I ain't nobody. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just my honest yeah. opinion. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I just, that's just my opinion. I ain't mad at them. I think hey, so, too. Hey, you because- sweeten that pot. Well, there was a lot of Bro, come on, come on, man. Come on, well, man. Well, there was a lot of speculation, like Albany happening the weekend prior. I felt like raised a lot of questions because would the North I mean, really go back to back weeks and then play AFFL the, the next potential three weeks? Because you know, main event in it, Strong Island up was involved as well. I think Punishers are in as well. I'm not sure offhand. Um, that's a lot of traveling going on, especially with yeah. AFL being in Houston, Texas. So you're talking all yeah. the Baltimore and potentially three straight weekends in Houston. Yeah, I mean, I understand that, but trust me, listen, 4,000, they waiting for some teams to jump in there to make sure it's filled up so they can cover that pot. That's all that. Yeah. We, we come up with any other thing, but I that's uh, I, that's what happened. 
Jason. Yep. I'm a, I'm a gambler. I'll bet my money on that. I'd like to see these teams stay in A, though, just to make it interesting, because I feel like this is the tournament to play A in, because Baltimore is very central to almost every part of this area on terms of flag football. It's a hour drive from York, PA, where Baez will be out of, so they'll have a lot of resources available to them right there that weekend from hey, as a thousand players. Hey, Bay's O line, they they legit. They legit across the board. I know they got a couple of dogs on that O line for sure. It's a secondary. I tell you what their problem is. They was in all shootouts, man. And they might have yeah. they might have they might have had they was in two shootouts, maybe three on, on Sunday. Oh, I'm talking about like 30 some points, 20 some high 20, like 20 oh, damn. <laughs> damn. Then they had a, then they had to play us in the ship. No oh, communication. Wow. We played them on Saturday. Hey, bro, they they, they weren't communicating. Yo, I don't know what they I don't know what they what kind of defense they were trying to run or whatever, but it, it was bombs old bag that trying to tell you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know what they was doing. They got, they get that communication that they offense can score though. You know what I mean? They another they are like an elite rebels, man. They can score buckets, man. It just yeah, elite rebels could put up some buckets. Yeah, they solid. TJ's a dog. Yeah, definitely a dog. Point. Definitely a dog, man. Your mother is yeah. They're gonna have the rest of the teams on the list. Um, right out, of course, David Butler. Y'all making the jump to A. That defense was playing on an A level over in AC. We'll see if they can finish the job off this time around. And truth be told, you all did win B last term, City. I think it's very appropriate you all play A this time around. You have to. It's a rite of passage. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, it gets them ready for uh, well, one to fall, but also two, like you play against better competition or quote unquote better competition. You're gonna make your team better. That's all. Facts. Uh, dream on the list. We're gonna try to get out there and get their first win on the circuit. Um, I like Dream. I like Dream. Sticking with it. Yeah. Yeah. They, they showed a lot of maturity in that main event game because early on, main event was blowing them out. They might be in two plays at two touchdowns. In between was a pick six. At one point, they were arguing with each other about what was happening. At that point, it was 21 nothing. Didn't look good, but they stuck together. They fought back. They only lost by nine in the end, the main event. Um, so you got to give it up to Dream. They are ready for this. They're young. They just got a while to grow. It's just got to. It's gonna be a lot of tough hits ahead. They gotta, they, gotta, they gotta get up. They gotta get like an underneath game though, man. They gotta learn how to eat the clock and move down the field. My opinion with their offense. Can't yeah. for the deep ball, man. You know, what I mean, they young. I mean, you got a young, you got a young core on your offensive side of the ball. You know what I mean? A lot of them DBs right. on defensive side, they've been playing for in, in these leagues for like the last, you know, at least since I've been playing. So. So since 2017, a lot of them guys been playing. I'd have played with some of them. So, but they offense just got to be able to calm down, man. And that just, you know, attack them to feel so much. Right. They'd be, they'd be all right, man. They just young. Yeah. Don't On the you know, offense. Quarterback pretty poised, though, man. I ain't seen them get too rattled. Their main event defense line six six something across the board. The motherfuckers are gone. <laughs> they got they got a rotation. They got a rotation of six something motherfuckers coming. Hell in yeah! <laughs> Bro, no, when they, I was watching, the old line was look, look like an NFL line. Hey, I'm trying to tell you, boy. Dude, when I was watching the monitors, uh, when I was at the workhorse booth at AC, I couldn't believe the size differential. Just looking at the sky cam from above. <laughs> between main event and dream in that game. It was crazy just to see like up close just like how different it is in size <laughs> I don't even I don't even think Dream got two players over six. Players. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, like, I, I'm trying to think. I can't really think of the light skin receiver. Yeah. Ain't got no girl like, beat. Oh wow. But after we talked about it on my FOE. Going to A. What do you guys think of that? That's kind of a random one. Um, 
Um, playing better. That was what he was just out. talking about. That that was just what Dave was talking you, about. Listen, man. Listen, my theory. I'm trying to tell you, man. Listen, I ain't the smartest motherfucker in the world, but listen, I'm trying to tell you. That's... <laughs> Some people got hustle. You don't know my opinion, but hey, it's competition. It's you know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's, it ain't. it's it's a much different FOE squad than the one I saw up here last year in terms of how they play compared to this year. They're definitely not better. Uh, they 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 a scrappy team, man. Them and, like they go. That's always gonna be. You're not gonna just go blow them out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like they, them and Petty always gonna be competitive. They, they, you know what I mean? You gotta. They scrappy, man. Petty in this. Oh, uh, no, they might be. I so, think you think FOE might, took some of Petty? Probably some of Petty and maybe AFN might got some of Petty too. I don't know. I seen Battle Battle through AFN is in it though. AFN is in it, but no, but Petty's not though. That's what I'm saying. Right. Petty's not they in might, it. They might have, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Petty, nice. Petty, not, Petty might, you know, some of the guys might win both, you know what I mean? Because um, I know somebody better get Ro. <laughs> <laughs> Ro a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Rollers, the next team, man. We had the dropout out of AC. Curious that's good. That's interesting. Around. Yeah. I want to see CJ at. I'm very interested to see uh, what this local squad's going to look like this time around. Even before AC, there was a changeover at the National. Curious they, how they come out for this one. Even in Ocean City, they had some of the Blazer guys. So, yeah, they've seen like they've had a different squad almost every single time I've seen them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. players, but like they change it up depending on what it is. Yeah. So, curious to see what they have this time around. But they don't play league ball nowhere, do they? I don't believe they do. I think uh, so. Just the straight to straight sugar. Okay. Main event on there. We all know about main event. Uh, Proc, you played them a few uh, weeks ago at AC. You're mm -hmm. on playing on main event, having just played them. I mean, obviously, shit, they were in the finals, so they, you know, you can't take nothing away from them. Got probably one, you know, one of the best quarterbacks on the circuit, if not the best. Some would say. So yeah, I mean, they're just solid. They're yeah, definitely solid, beatable, obviously, because they lost to the dogs. But yeah. I think you guys put on a pretty good fight in that game. You guys stuck in it the whole time and did not. And in the end, you fought them down to the, the it's final minutes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they got a sport team six, I think. Yeah, yo, we were one for three in the red zone, though. Nah. You, can't, you can't beat good teams like that. Nah. Huh? Punisher <laughs> next up on there as well. Um, you know about punishes already. Strong Island Bulldogs. You already know. Gladiators coming back. I don't know what the Gladiators team is going to be around. I don't know what we saw at the National. It's not about that. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to what 6 9 is going to bring out there. But he definitely supports, though. So, actually, he I think he was one. Uh, that second year okay, when we had it, I think he was definitely one of the ones up north to, you know, to bring the teams from up north down here to play. And he, and he was definitely the first one to register, you know, so so that helped out the Trump City Classic. Yeah. And we're looking now look at it. It's crazy. Right. The storm is really good. Like, I look back at the schedule from the 2017 tournament, and it was very local. On Dude, that was my first time playing nine, man. For real? Oh, yeah. That, that tournament was my first time with the Savages. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was my first tournament. Charm City 18 was my first ever tournament outside of uh, Hagerstown. The field was still great. Yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Show <laughs> them. <laughs> that was my first point. Main field was grass before it turned to turf. Yep, showing sure up. Because seven point loss right in the championship. Mm -hmm. Seven point losing the championship that year. Yeah, lost in the championship. 
Of course, in that championship. No, nah, that was. I think that was. Um, I think that was main event and, and the dog. Okay. Yep. Yeah, because seven yeah. point they won it the first year, but then okay, they didn't. Yeah, yeah, they didn't defend it. Yeah, they beat us three nothing in that first chip. Maybe. <laughs> They got that crazy ass field goal this year in Nashville. <laughs> what happened? That field goal to Nashville this year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was a crazy game, too, man. Mm-mm-mm. Blazers. You just played them in uh, an AC twice. Greg Proctor went 2 and 0 against them. Your impressions yeah. are after both games? Yeah, man. Hey, Blazers is tough, man. Rob Lane, man, he, he, he can put up buckets, man. It's just a matter of you You just got to outdo him. Mm-hmm. And fortunately, I was able to do that. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. On to the B bracket. Uh, 717 Elite. Yet another team with Elite in their name. <laughs> They've been traveling around. They played FFWCT East Coast Nationals at eight fives. Uh, this is their third uh, circuit I'm in. tournament. And I'm in, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think they were in AC, right? And they were AC and OC were their first two. Yeah. They had a lot of, yeah. They, they really another good. young team. Spartans too. Like I said, on day two. That was a battle. Um, I'm not sure what they'll look like because I think they're going to be a much different roster this time around. From what I'm getting, I don't know how much different. Um, I don't know the few situation. York's interesting with how many guys are on teams and where they go to usually. So we'll see what they come out with. Blackhawks are coming in with the Maple Champions. Uh, we all know about Blackhawks. Um, they definitely bring it. Uh, looking forward to seeing them back out there in the field. I haven't seen them since the March and the Champions coming there. Ross, she had Blackhawks in the city. Uh, your impressions on Blackhawks? Having watched them in OC? I think you had them for the Petty game, and I think you had them for the uh, x Dolls game, right? Yeah. yeah. Your impressions on uh, Blackhawks, Ross? Uh, yeah. Great impression, Ross. Start out one foot on the table. Ready to go. You're about to doze off again. What else do you to that's, that's literally my impression. I know. <laughs> it must be me then. <laughs> I'm going to throw a water bottle at you. Very difficult. <laughs> Rampage. They're going to be in it. We all know about Rampage by now. What more to say? Borough Bullies. They're out of the XFFL. Uh, we saw them at the uh, AFFL. Um, they were eliminated on day two, unfortunately, due to a legal player. So I didn't get a chance to learn anything from that one. Um, He's an illegal player. Yeah, what had happened was a guy jumped on the roster and he had played the day before for a team that was eliminated. He told them he was able to play, and, he, and it and it was against yeah against the same exact team he played the day before. He tried to wow. Play. Yeah. And on the live, like, you see them immediately protest and say, I lined up on him yesterday. He scored a touchdown on me. (laughs) They protest Jamie on the spot, and Jamie goes over, talks to the refs, and then about a few minutes later, a touchdown. Illegal player. What team was that? Burrow Bullies. Burrow Bullies. Uh, It's a misunderstanding for what I've been told. So, like, nothing against them. Like, I no, I, did, I, I don't even care. Was, yeah. I think the guy might have misled him a little bit. We don't really know the full situation. Yeah. I got but you. at the same time, you know, it, it's roster, you got to keep track, man. Mm hmm. Wasn't the situation that he the same team? I don't know why he tried to play against the same team, hoping they would have run out. Hey, it's COVID time. At least put a mask on, man. These y'all say I had a whole story. I think he had a mask on. <laughs> <laughs> they still know it was him. Hey, man. That's crazy. 
He just like puts a fake mustache on or something. That's not That's it. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. I try to put things on teams. It's things just happen. Titans <laughs> know about Titans now. We all know about Titans. Uh, huh? I Greg. I think he did play though, right? Yeah, more recent. Because I was debating Greg and David, or who played it more recently. I think Greg played it weeks ago when he played uh, them with no mercy. So give me your impression, plot on Titans so far and the growth of them uh, from last year to this year. Oh, man, they picked up some key players, man. They got some key dogs that they would – can't say desperately, but they Thank but to propel them to where they are. Like River, they got all the doc. They picked up a couple of receivers, I think. We just wanted to uh, like Lionel. Yeah. So I mean they had yeah, Lionel Scoop, yeah. They have they have some dogs over there, like for real, that could play. Yeah, and they, I mean, they, they I mean they, they seem to get better and better, you know. They they like right there. They right there. They just got Ant too. He plays with them now. Okay. I think that's big. I think that's big. I think that's big. He thinks he's gonna he's play someday. Cool, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ant can ball. Say, Robbie, he's <laughs> <his own head. laughs> Venom as well. He can ball, man. We all mm-hmm. know about Venom. Rocky mm-hmm. played them last week. Mm-hmm. Um, they play pretty well. They've always played tough. They're going to bring it, of course. Uh, not much more to really say. I'm uh, looking forward to seeing them both Sunday against the Bulls, who's also in this tournament. Bulls mm-hmm. been a pretty scrappy team this year. Um, every game has been close with them. You're also pressing having to run against the Bulls. I think Eddie has to be the only one who did it this year. Actually, he did it to see. That's right. Yeah. Had a few I like years. the Bulls, man. Yeah. Yeah, the book, yeah. man. Girl, I like their quarterback. Dead. I think with their quarterback, they they got that we played against last week. I mean, they they got a, they young PJ. too, though, man. They still they young. He yeah, PJ boring, a but... problem, man. You get that boy. You get that man a line. I think he needs some. Yeah, if he gets some time, mm-hmm. he gets some yeah. time, man. Yeah. I mean, oh, we yeah. barely beat him, so I mean, I ain't got nothing. Ain't got nothing bad to say. We ain't beat him with six nothing. Oh damn! So, yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, they man, yo, they, they, they tough, man. They scrappy, they too. Tough. I like them because they, they got so yeah. much speed, man. Even they DBs, they looking to they looking yeah. the pick sixes. Yes. They mm-hmm. looking, you know what I mean? True. They, they looking for pick hey, look, sixes. Look. Hey, they looking for I, pick Hey, they, had, they looking for pick sixes. I ain't going to lie to you. Yo, my first pass out there, pick six. To the, to the <laughs> hey, hey. Like, they got yeah. one dude with little dress, man. That man, he, hey, they got some speed. They got some home run hitters over there for real. Yeah. Yeah. They got a couple players. You be like, hey, oh, y'all not going to that tournament? They got some of them guys. You, yeah, you can come on right with right. this tournament. Then you ain't going. They got a couple of them over there. They got a tall receiver that's pretty good too. He has some bad drops against us, but I seen them bagging a couple people too. I don't. He ain't had no jersey on, but he was bagging people. <laughs> Bad boys in it, Eddie. We all know what you guys got. We'll see what happens from uh, Trump City. Uh, thank you for that notification, Facebook. Uh, AFN. I really like that petty AFN. You want to call a merger, so to speak? We want to call it just put together. I like what they had in store in AC. Like, I really like that mesh of the two, and I think they keep playing together. I think it's a lot of oh, so they already meshed for AC? Yeah, they played. Yeah, together. that's what I was saying. Yeah, they, 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 they balled. Oh. It was balling. They should have gone oh, they had battle okay, uh, battle, right? battle. Okay. Yeah, they played extremely well in AC. Like, they played... They played more... What's the word I'm looking for here? So it seemed like there was a lot of potential. I think like, they might have some of the PME guys on that roster. No, not, maybe not that. That was Ocean City. Patty had some of the PME guys at Ocean City. I don't know. Wrong for them. 
Yeah. You never know who's going to pop up on what squad. That's part of the way these yeah. corners are great is that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <coughs> that one of teams ain't really traveled in Maffle this year so far. Blackhawks, Petty, AFN. I think that's it. FOE show. That was it to travel this year. Oh, yeah. Dream, yeah, right out. Yeah, Dream. Yeah, Dream, yeah. Uh, dream travel. Yeah. Um, we got Southside. We got Southside. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they'll be in this one. Um, also in this one, Riot Squad. They have been a team that I've been keeping an eye on on the yeah. the last few uh, months. Yeah, going back to Nationals. They played Blazers really well on day three. That defense uh, held Rob Lane to 13 points. Big thing going on offense. They had a really good showing in Ocean City. Uh, put a beat down on both X Dolls and Blackhawks, only to go one and done to Baez Auto on Sunday. Um, in a shootout. Yeah, a very competitive game. But that was a that was a really awesome game between Baez Auto and Riot Squad. Um, AC, I can't I don't remember where Riot Squad ended up finishing at. I don't know, maybe y'all. Riot Squad, uh, Riot Squad Brown, beat. Right? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. They lost to the Browns. Um, they got into that. Uh, that was one of them when we were talking about the refs, where the refs were like basically yeah. trying to like fight some of the players. Oh wow! Oh, that was in Ocean City, right? Atlantic, Atlantic City. City. Oh, that was in Atlantic City. <laughs> yeah. You know that field oh, wow. When the wow. ref, when the ref try to fight the players. Damn. <laughs> uh, he was talking to uh, what's his name, AJ, the quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. The, the Brown, AJ played with the Browns too, I think. For Pretty for sure league ball. The, for league ball right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! I think I've seen that out there in that attorney league. Yeah, that quarterback yeah. fans though for the Browns. I think that's Rocky. What? Yeah, Rocky. What? Yeah. No, we lost to them on Saturday. What? Yeah, it was he's like a human problem. joystick out there. Yeah. yeah oh yeah, man. You definitely got yeah, yeah. Rocky for nothing. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> for real. Gusto Land. Last time we saw Gusto Land in the tournament was Clash of the <laughs> North. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they put a beat down on the Scorpions in day one. Yeah. That, that shit ain't count. They were very <laughs> upset of Greg Brock. Yo, they were fucked up that day. You really gotta let them have their victory. I love that. You guys had UT's quarterback out there, right? On Saturday. That was yeah, like his yeah. first nine man game, wasn't it? No, you know what? Here's the crazy part. You know he actually, he actually came out with the uh, the bullets, the first Charm City joint. He played with the bullets. He was the quarterback for the bullets. Okay. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They thought that was that Saturday. That was it. Yeah. They. they uh... Future yeah, I, I just remember Earl Leonard like talking to the camera towards Greg Proctor, who was probably sitting on the chair, just watching, having a hey, good time just, watching the game. Yeah, they were they were talking hella shit, but they knew that. <laughs> you know, like, you know why y'all doing all that for Saturday? Hey, hey Joe, I, just, I love the fact that you said you thought they were a combination of AFN and Baez. Did I say that? Yeah, 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 I did. Yeah, you straight up yeah. said that. Yeah. yeah, I did. Yeah. Hey, who the, hey, question though, who the quarterbacks for Bays right now? Because you know they had um Whoa, it's they hard had to that, they kind of rotate a lot. No, nah, but they had they got um, some fast light skin. Bro. No, nah, they had um if it's that dude from AC, I, from OC, I like him. Ray we- that's I what know. no, he's that's Ray not, Wagner, that's what, but that's, he could also be he's the other he's the but he's the quarterback for the team. Um that we were just talking about. He quarterback for um Gusto. Gusto Land, yeah. That's his day. He beat well, Chair Moore was there around. for them in uh Worlds, but he uh, uh, Gusto for uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, so that's interesting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I pay attention to everything. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I know I played there. Yeah, I know that. Out. That was a snapple fact. Yeah. <laughs> 
So yeah. I was, so both of them playing in the tournament that, that you know. So. Tri-State Spartans, David Butler, you actually had a chance, I believe, to face him last year in Washington County. Yeah. Um, but they were athletic, man. They more athletic than they look. They um they got a couple good good rushers on their team. But they all right. I mean, they still learn. I mean, you know, competitive. <laughs> Make way speak the truth, yo. They trash. No, nah, they ain't. No, nah, they not trash. What did you think, Eddie? You played in the got, I'm a, they, they, they got they, out on the circuit. They, they, they just we play a different style of football. I mean, it's they're new to the circuit up here. Yeah, they knew. It's not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They played you guys pretty close in Ocean City on that first yeah. game. 26 18 was the final. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, they I like some points. Yeah, they can score okay. some points. They just, they they, they just don't got. I see line. Defensive wise, they don't really got no true dog. They ain't got, you got to put that D line together, man. They might got uh, one guy. They got, like, you know what I'm saying? It's a dude that got dreads. He put, it, 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 I thought he was with the Misfits. I don't know. That's what I'm saying, man. Misfits, they have that. They, yeah, they picking out there, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I don't know who they had on the circuit. So I can't, that's why I said I can't really say. I ain't play them. It's going to depend because their circuit team in Ocean City, they had a lot of their core guys, but they also supplemented with a lot of longtime veterans from the four state. Okay. That team actually got in West Virginia with the club. And okay. I think that added a lot to the team because it gave a lot of better leadership, which helped the young yeah. guys out and had them very well prepared to play the bad boys and Baez auto. They had a tough draw. Like they had Baez, bad boys. Um, the next day, they ended up a 7 1 7 elite who had just played several of their guys two weeks earlier on prime time. Uh, they had a tough Killer Bees defense and another different league play. play. And then ended up with AFN, who AFN is pretty loaded for that camp. They, they, they were ready for Sunday. They were hyped like it was an A chip. Um, yeah, I, I, I seen that to the joke. I said, they were excited. They were a little extra excited to play. You know, I guess you got to be competitive if you're going to play. So, ain't no point. <laughs> um, DX. I actually had a chance to see DX a little bit. Um, I was watching film with a new live streamer up in New York. Uh, she was filming a game for New Era Flag Football. Um, and I caught a little bit of film with them. Um, they're an eight-man team from up there. So, But the eight-man they run there is a little bit more like nine-man. It's uh, not the traditional FFWCT eight-man style you'll see. You'll okay. see down linemen and everything else. So they're going to have an idea of the game they're playing at the very least. Well, that's good. Yeah. Uh, Dirty Birds as well. Uh, I thought they played Rampage very tough in both games. Yeah. Yeah. They're deep. They don't, good. they don't give up a lot. Like, you know what I mean? They, they like, you know what I'm saying? They stay at like cover three, cover two. Like, for the most of the most part. You know what I mean? They don't. They got a, got, a, got a couple older guys at the linebacker position. You know, they run a lot of zone. So. Hmm. D-line was okay. Yeah, I thought their, de- their defense impressed me in uh, both tournaments so far, especially against that Rampage offense. They held them, I think, to only three scores total. This might, this might be the best. The worst Rampage offense that played in that, in that AC tournament. What's they that? almost won that game against Rampage. Yeah, that was close. It was only 7 no. Yeah, that's close as you can get. Yeah, no close. Yeah. New York Rebels. No idea. Yeah. Um, I had a chance know. to see them uh, actually in uh, AC. Uh, of course you did. They played, <laughs> they played against the Dragons and AFM. Um, they ended up tying AFN and losing to the Dragons. Nope. Um, Israel Veloda runs a team. He's Deuce Dutch's brother. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yo, it, yo, Iz could ball, though. Iz does everything. And that tournament on Saturday, he was filming the game. He was coaching the game. Second game, he got in a quarterback. He was actually moving the ball and putting up points. Um, he yeah, dude, he works hard out there. 
He's pretty, he was happy to get them back out there for that tournament. He threw an interception to his son. Was that that game? I think it might have oh, been. Oh, damn. Is that the same game? Could have been. Well, at least out there, I think I've seen that shit. Yeah. I, I got Pick six one for Father's Day? Yeah, yeah, for uh, over at uh, GCFFA, I think they did that. Or New Era. I don't know which Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Because they play, I think they play both GCFFA, Nine Man, and New Era 8. So they're going back and forth, kind of doing double duty, like uh, Rampage and Tri State Spartans and No Mercy Scorpions are this year down here. Um, boys from the Bay. Can we get a Bad Boys versus Boys from the Bay match? <laughs> Who are they? I, 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 <laughs> what bay are they from? Green Bay, Tampa Bay, San Francisco? Like that's like bay Oakland. Bay. That's what I know. Yeah, I thought, I'm thinking of California. Yeah. Are we getting a Cali nine man team? That's kind of yeah, right. <laughs> I doubt it. What bay? Chesapeake Bay? Like, is that what it is? Could be. Are we getting the Eastern Shore nine man team? Is Ocean City nine man back? That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's a great my question. Guess, my guess, my guess mm. is Ocean City. Oh my gosh. We'll find out what bay the boys from the bay are Tampa, Green, Hudson. <laughs> hey, that's not the team that um Ocean City did uh, uh, Bay's beat, is it? Before, after they beat AJ and them, after they beat Ryan's squad, that's not that team, is it? No, the team in uh, up there was okay. Squad Nation. That's uh, they're from Rhode Island. <laughs> they tough. They, they were white. I'm not sad they're not on. It was tough. I was right there with you. I like Squad. It was pretty good, man. They ain't have enough bodies. Nomads. I think all of you know about Nomads. Yep. I ain't never, I never played them. Oh, for real? Yeah, they took off. Yeah. Let's not play them in nationals. You I might have played them in nationals, Eddie. Yeah, you guys played them day two. I think it was 20. Yeah, I played, yeah, I think we played them before we played the Scorpions in the semis. Yeah, oh, okay. we beat, yeah, we beat. I think that if we played them, that's when we played them. I don't remember that team name. I think that's who it was. No, nah, they, um, no, because actually, Nomads that year, they lost to the Wolfpack. So we they played the Wolfpack. The side of we, 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 no, we know we played the Wolfpack. It was the red, right? Oh, you talking about the Wolfpack from uh, St. Louis? Nah, okay. St. Louis, yeah. Nah. yeah All right, now nah, we didn't then. Okay, yeah. now nah, we didn't. I don't know that. Uh, Southside, they're going to be entering this one. I believe you've had a chance to see them down there, Brock. Have you from Apple? No, nah, crazy part, we we never played that team. Oh, real? I play. I yeah. play with them. I play with them Sunday. Oh, okay. okay. How's Southside looking? Thank you, man. They still they're young team, like, right? They not. I, I'm not gonna say they're younger. They've been in the league, but like. Individual players got to learn how. Who's play. TV's running right now? Hold on. Who's TV's that's playing? My, that's my. That's my plan. They got. They got to learn how to understand concept of defense, the schemes. <laughs> Can we be the shout of, of my, the Blackhawks team? Is that his? We got our ass with by PME. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, hey and I, like they just. It's just a concept thing, man. They just. Yeah, man. They they got speed. The quarterback. I, li- I like the quarterback. Definitely the quarterback. Yeah, he, definitely old fashioned. he definitely can ball. I've seen him play, but they say yo, he want to ride. Hey, mm-hmm. they not bad, man. I mean, they can run and be, they can play and be like I said. They got to understand that some more concept of football. It sounds that I mean that was some kind of. I mean, that's how I would describe it. All right. We beat the Blackhawks, oh. but but we got our ass whipped by PME. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be at Maffle playoffs, actually, on the 11th. Oh, on the 11th, right? 
Yeah, yeah. Fly Eleven. That's the latest of the play season I've seen, actually. Uh, now we're getting done, though. That's going to be awesome. I'll be down there for that. I'll be uh, there for Ben Mercy and Rampage. And I'll cover a couple other games while I'm down there, too. Like, that's a fun. Enjoy. It should be a good day. You had a shit. Yeah, looking forward to it. It's going to be it's playoff time. I'm really excited here. Uh, Baltimore Spartans, like we said earlier, we saw them at, F- at the DMV FFL Nitro. Um, as an it's an eight man team, right? That's what I'm thinking. Is the eight man team. They, uh, I said it on live, they have a nine man lot. They really do have a nine man caliber line. Yeah. They I, won, I, um, they won nationals, didn't they? Yeah, they won the rec division of eight man at the uh, FFWCT World back in January. And they actually won it East Coast Nationals too. FFWCT East Coast Nationals. So, like, okay. and I think they were a semi finalist at Nitro. They ended up playing Savages, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was a very competitive game. Um, they are an interesting team to watch. Like they play some really good fundamental flag football. They're tough in the trenches. Uh, mentally, they know how to handle the battle on the field. It's one of those teams who I look forward to seeing how they transition to the nine man. Can we make it happen? Tri-State Spartans versus Baltimore Spartans. Hey. Talk about a very different matchup between those two. That's yeah. that would be an interesting one. Yeah. Um. Looking ahead, Apex Dragons. I saw them at AC. They played uh, AFN and they played against uh, the Long Island Demons. They ended up losing to the affiliates. AFN beat wow. them in 12. Um, they ended up beating Long Island Demons, though, in the next game. Um, I think Tony is their quarterback. Tony Pena, I think his name is. He was from Downstate mm. back at uh, Worlds last yep. year. I saw him. Um, that guy can ball. Like, he's very underrated. Like, that's a very skilled quarterback. And the team he had around him at AC was very light. Then he had about 13 other guys on the field with him. What and, team? Uh, Apex Dragons. Oh, yeah. I ain't see them either. Yeah. Uh, I had a good time watching them in uh, AC. Like, they were a really fun team on offense to watch. They could have had AFN. They were driving down the field. But AFN had to stop in the end. Uh, day two, they drew NWO, and uh, Shane will get a DX NWO game in this tournament as they sign up. Um, but we'll see what we get with Dragons this time around. They were one and done on Sunday. Uh, shout out to our guy, Skinny and Preston. They got the win for NWO over there. Came out all the way from St. Louis. They're going to be. Come, I, I like to see St. Louis come out for this one. I've been saying for a while, we need to get all a nine man here because. You take a look at this. This is the closest thing you're going to get to a summer nationals. Like with the amount of teams in this tournament participating and yeah. the scale Damn. it could be. Yeah. Um, and then you look at the last team and you wonder with the Jets. Who is this the Jets squad that was supposed to join at the beginning of the season for MFFL? Because I remember the Jets on the list. And I think it's the one motion group, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Um, if, if it is, uh, let me know in the comments, anybody. Um, otherwise, Charm City Classic looking lit. I'm liking the teams on the list. Let's go ahead and get to the playoff predictions. Uh, Greg Proctor. Who do you expect to see on the other side of that bracket? We know who you got winning your games, but who do you expect to see against you in that championship? Mm, well, let me see the bracket. Can you pull up the bracket? Yes, sir. Let me pull that up for you. This is this summer is going to be awesome. Like I've never been more hyped in my life for like. A summer on terms of flag football than this one. Like it's insane the games they're gonna have on Sunday. Trying to pull it up, they got buried in photos. I believe. Let me go to find it. I love her so much. It's insane. Like I 
And now I understand how you are with me. Because I'm like the same with her. Right. Thank you, Mommy. I'm going to go to Sorry, the bed. Okay. Are you ready for bed? Okay. Can she so tell she really needs me right now? Yeah, like a theater is now. Let's see in a few minutes. Maybe like three people in the bed. Good dad. I know you're going to have... Right. Misfits in the morning. It'd be the you guys have played a lot this year, actually. Actually, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, we got them at eleven o'clock. Yeah, here we go. Let's get Misfits it. Misfits are always Titans to us. Uh, right. We play Titans all the time. I think <laughs> I think that's the bracket where they feel where Rampage got to out of Yeah, hey, we'd have played y'all a couple times too, Eddie. The last couple yeah. months, the last Every month tournament. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. hey, Joy, man, you should go on, uh, you know, just, just, you know, predict every game, man. Just, you know. Let's go on my, yeah, we'll start with us first. Um, Bulls and Venom, who do you got, Ross? Ooh, that's going to be the 9 a.m. game. Ross Collins, will have that game Ooh. on the team one talk Facebook. Yeah, that's going to be a good one. 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 Bulls, all right. Box got yeah, I, like, I like Bulls. I like Bulls. I'm going to go Venom. You're on Venom? Yeah. I'm going to go Bulls. I like Bulls in this one. I think they're going to get the win. This will be a close competitive game. Yeah, oh, yeah. How long have you been at All right, right after that, 10.05, Rampage and Bulls. Everybody, who do you got? Rampage. 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 All right, other 10 05 game Titans and Bad Boys. Greg, who do you got? Mm. I, love, I love my guys, man. I love Bad Boys, but I think Titans. Titans I think they're gelling. Yeah, I think they're mm -hmm. peaking more than what, uh, than what the Bad Boys are doing. I think there's still little, little issues with the Bad Boys right now. So I, I like to tell you that. Close. Titans close. All right. David, who do you got? I got the Titans. They, they just, they just is, I ain't seen no argument. I ain't seen nothing, man. Just they playing football. Right. Right. They, they ain't making, they ain't making nothing complicated, man. It ain't no, for them to add, the players they to add it. I guess it means for since national, so I mean they just added, 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 a couple at a time, and it's it's there. Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. we, we we talk about gelling. They gelling like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I mean, shit. So are y'all? Yeah, that's that's the tough. Oh, one. You know who I got? You got the Titans too. That's what's up. No, you know I got the Titans. Yeah, I mean, Pox, the Titans. I told you, man. Bad boys in three, man. Bad boys in three. All right. Titans. I think. I think the Titans. I think the Titans go down here. I think bad boys rise to the occasion here. I think they finally. Just get a dub. Eddie's going to be there. He's a big difference maker. And Definitely. Right? You're going to be there, right? Just making sure, Eddie. So, uh, I'm going like to be there at – when's the first game? 9 o'clock. Yeah. I'll be there at 9 o'clock. Oh, okay. No, nah, I'll be there at 9 to watch that, to watch that first game. Perfect. I'll be there for the 10 of Playoffs. Titans and bad boys. Sure well, I ain't going to get it that goddamn early. I got a long drive. <laughs> right? <laughs> Uh, sure. Next game, I'll have Misfits and No Mercy Scorpions. Ooh. Eddie, who do you got? No. Oh, man, I think I'm going to have to go with Misfits. They've been playing. They play all different styles. It's all it's the same team. No matter where you go, it's the same core guys. And they, even on the, the main circuit, they've been balling tournaments. I just got to go with them right now. All right. Um, David, who do you got? You played for Bo last season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, man. The David Butler Bowl. <laughs> Travis Hale Bowl. 
I want to go with the ah uh, man. I like Misfits D line. I'm I'm gonna go with Misfits. They can score points too, and I like their D line against against score O line. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that matchup. Yeah, their D lines are. Brock, who do you got? That game. Well, since we'll have the O line that I'm gonna have at at AC. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> All right. I got the score. <laughs> All right, see, I ain't even gonna see y'all play either. Bruh. I ain't even really see. I ain't gonna see y'all play. So I don't know yeah, who you had. But... The people out the club, yo, left and right. Okay. Yeah. I know the one guy. Yeah, I see the one. The one guy y'all got with the dress, but other than that, I see everybody the normal people. So yeah. I mean, they just got they got a hell of a D line rotation. Oh yeah. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, 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 fits, man. Their their D line rotation is. Just, just like any other A-line rotation on the circuit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. So. Uh, they're de- I mean, it's. I mean, they're definitely D-line. Is, yeah. I just. Yeah. You they're, can beat them. It's a couple they're secondary like places you can go. You can beat them. Right. But I right. Like that, but you got to get that D-line. That, D, that, that front is crazy. Yeah. I got to see every, all of them play. All of them. So. They're definitely a problem. Definitely ain't mad with nobody's prediction on that one. Like every game, you can go either way. Yeah. Yep. Y'all got a field goal kicker. Yeah. Okay. That might, that's gonna be big in that game too. Yeah, it's gonna be. A, yeah, I yeah. know they got one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's gonna have a big thing too. So. You're an investment for us. I think I'm gonna miss Fitz as well. I got I got some faith in the four state. I don't like betting against Proc, but I got two this time. Yeah, yeah we got two. You know. like they better get like. Brady last year. That's cool. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> Proc be trying to be slick, so smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> Proc, my guy, though, man. <laughs> Over on the next field, Ross will be live for this one at 11.10 on Team Bunt Talk Facebook. Elite Rebels and Ride Out. Let's start out with you, Eddie. Who do you got? Uh, I like Elite Rebels, like I said, but if Ride Out shows out with who they came to AC with, uh, I'll take Ride Out with this. All right, Proc, who do you got? Again, if it, if it comes down to, you know, the points, like – because I know Elite Rebels, regardless, they're going to put up buckets on anybody. Mm-hmm. Um, but I kind of like the the veteran, the, the, the veterans that Ride Out has. And, and <sighs> see, I'm not, again, I, I'm kind of like with Eddie. If, it, if it's the AC Ride Out, then I'll take Ride Out. But also, man, I'll take Ride Out. Let me just get Ride Out. I'll All take right, ride out. out. Um, Ross, who do you got? Ride out. All right. I think we're gonna ride out as well too. I like that defense. Uh, so we're gonna have on the left side of the bracket. It'll be rampage and ride out semifinal. I think that's what everybody ended up going with. So we'll go to this one. This one. Let's start with you, Proc. Who do you have? Who will be your opponent? What will be Rampage or Ride Out? I just think Rampage is just, they've been consistent the entire year and wherever they were. So I would have to go with Rampage. Rampage? All right. Yeah. Eddie, who do you think you'll face in the championship? Uh, I'm going to go with Rampage. Also, they're on a roll right now. Um, as much as, you know, I already said Bad Boys in three, as much as I would love to face right out and get my revenge, we haven't scored a point on them the two times we played them. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. 18 Rampage. nothing, I think, both games. Yeah, I don't think you want that. Um, 
<laughs> but I think Rampage is on a Rampage is on a roll right now, and uh, you know, I think that that side is is there sort of taken. All right. Uh, David, we know who you got in that one, so we got a boss. No, you. Ross, who do you got? You got ride out. Yeah. All right, Ross has ride out. I'm gonna go. Can't be mad. Can't be mad at it. Okay. I'm gonna go rampage. I think it's gonna be a very close competitive game. It's always the type of these two. Um, you know, Rampage got the better and I don't know if it failed, but Ride Out got the better at AC. Um, less said about that world's game last year, the better. That was pretty, pretty tight. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be the most competitive one. You'll be, if, if so, you'll have that semifinal on that side of the bracket. Um, I think, like I said, I think Rampage gets that one. So I got Rampage touching it in on that left side of the bracket. Um, other semi final, um, of course, we know who Eddie and Brock are to go with in that bracket. Um, David, who do you have as your opponent? Uh, between what team? Um, who's you picking the uh semis on the right side of the bracket? Oh, yeah, um. I'm gonna go with it'd be Misfits. I'm go with Titan. I picked the Misfits over Scorps. Okay. So yeah, it'd be Misfits. So you got right out Misfits. Huh? Okay. I will do it in a second. Thank you. Of course, Eddie on his end. He's gonna have. He said. Uh, Right out, right out. Rampage. Rampage, gotcha. Yeah, okay. yeah Rampage. Rampage. I got Rampage. I got Bad Boys winning by eight, and I got Willie scoring on the game winning touchdown and beating that drum like drum line. That's how I'm calling it. <laughs> um, Brock, you got Rampage on your end. Ross, who do you got? Right out versus Titans. Okay. All right. Nice. We're going real old school there. I like it. Um, my end, I'm going to go with the Misfits. I think we're going to rampage Misfits Champions. Uh, of course, gentlemen, we know who you all got. You got to get chips. Ross, who do you got? It's supposed to be right out of tight. It's always fine. It's for you. Until you get right up on me, then I got to deal with the thing. You got Titans. All right. Ross going to go with Titans. Okay. My champion. I can't be mad at that. Yeah. My championship. I know. I just got weird feelings. Like, Carly? I don't know, man. I think I think they're gonna go one and done. Excuse me. I think Bad Boys get him in that first round. Eddie makes a difference out there, bro. I've seen it firsthand. What the difference this guy makes? Do not let him get everybody on our side of the bracket uh, outside of the Scorpions because we beat them, but we lost to Titans and Misfits both by touchdown. Yeah, you guys have been competitive every week, like. People are giving the bad boys some black foul performance. Like I said, they have played I don't, I, so many great. Oh, it's been warranted. It's been warranted. But I, but I don't think it. I don't think. I think the, the main thing is. I think we expect more from them as a team. Yeah, you know, I, I think it's. I, I think it's. It's not really. You know what I mean? It's. It's more. I felt like. That's my opinion. I feel like they should have. I feel like they that's what I'm saying. It's warranted. It's y'all production. I think y'all should have production should have been better. Like, yeah, whatever, however you want to word it. Y'all should have been fully agree because y'all healthy, agree. right? You healthy, right? Y'all, yeah. Healthy. I don't uh, know. we got a few people hurt. Uh, Kyrie's hurt right now. Um, we got a couple people on our secondary hurt. Um, 
I believe a couple of our offensive linemen might be hurt as well. Um, so it's just plug and play, you know, I mean, at this point. I get what you're saying, though. I thought, I thought the momentum was going to carry from, P, from PA. That's what I was we went down to Nationals and had a great show. And then after that, it was just – once yeah, the yeah. merge happened, it was just – Right, you know, right, from there. right. We look like some shit at national. And now look, we still look like some shit. Championship on my end. I want to go Misfits. I think Misfits will come very, very early for that because of the fact that that's going to be the only game where a lot of the guys are going to do that game. Um, the majority of those guys will be at all around the ball. I think it's going to come about 30 loaded. They're going to keep both sides of the ball. Yeah, that's his. They're ready to go. I think this is it. I think Misfits get their third straight league championship. They conquer KFFL. They conquer WTFFL. Come in you call Misfits the, the kings of Maryland? Is, or the kings of the DMV? Is that what you're calling them? Four state? Uh, I, 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 that's what I'm saying. If they do this, this is their crowning moment. Right now, in my opinion, Rampage has that spot because they've had a lot of success. They already got about two losses this year total. And they played both Maple and LMFFL as well as both circuit tournaments. Oh, so far it's but overall, it's going to come down. I think this Sunday will be the game changer if they're all the teams. Really I'm mean, she she really out. Hey, this is some good football, man. Yeah. yeah. I, think everybody, I think everybody everybody that's playing has been on the circuit this year too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Oh, at the circuit, that is our own tournament. Every team, Venom, even Venom and the Bulls. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. And when you and when you got teams like that, everybody in the league participating, traveling, putting in that effort, it's a sign of a healthy, strong league. Um, gentlemen, your impression from the growth of the LMF fail exception. Let's start with you, boys. So, yeah, well, your impressions on the growth of the OMFFL since the beginning? Okay, I can feel it. Talking to me? Or yeah, Greg. Or, you feel Greg? Oh, I ain't hear that. I couldn't no, hear, hear that. Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. Yeah. Yep, it's hey. okay. Nah, man. Hey, this has probably been the yeah. most competitive league okay, no, that I've ever position. partaken in. Okay. Like league wise, everything from like I can take it back to Columbia, up in Essex, and now and now here, man, yeah, it's like they're, they're other than the other the quote unquote elite team or elite whatever you want I call them elite because they deleted themselves, but there are no slouches on this, on this, you know, in this playoff, none. Like you can't take no team lightly out here, and we never had bulls, even, even the Bulls, man. Right. Like that right. defense, man. They had rampage a couple weeks ago. I said rampage. They had a what, thirteen zero or something. I said rampage. Yeah, they came back. Win, but yeah. like, they came back and won. But I'm just like, they can score and they can. They they got they got speed. Like them got some guys be in the right spots, man. I'm like they not they not. You gotta earn it, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. They just they they old line just young man. They this young. Yeah, man. Like 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 I said, man. From top to bottom, man. Every everybody can play. Like there are no true slouches at quarterback. Shit, when you look at all of them damn teams out here, for the most part. I think Venom, whoever the uh, guy, well Venom. I think this is probably his first season at quarterback though, right? Oh damn. I don't know that. I don't know. We got that. He paid the receiver for me. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about our uh, camp. Like, I'm losing time every month. Oh, oh, yeah, I guess. Who, yeah. who invited him on here, it, man? It hurts me. He joined <laughs> himself. Oh, 
I came uh, on. I just want to see. Hey, I'd be like to see who the fuck be in the background. And I see David Butler ugly ass on here. Uh, <laughs> <Shit, laughs> <yes, nigga>. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we got one championship this year. We see it right behind us. Killer bees. You know, what's up, dude? With misfits. He got. Oh, he, he left. left. He left. He left already, man. Yeah, he left. Well, bye, Dirk. <laughs> I'll go cool. tell him bring that damn Henny. I'm going to need that. Oh, you know game. he's going to be ready to play. Is he even a Henny? No, he's going to be look, the Henny or the Apple Crown Roll. Or the, cr- or the Crown. It's going to be one you of them. You know what? He, he gave me – I'm trying to think of what he gave me at Nashville when we won that shit. I was like, yo, I need a hit of that. I don't know what he had. I knew it was Brian. <laughs> You see this finger right here? <laughs> hey man, y'all tried, yo. Y'all tried. <laughs> Actually, both of y'all tried. I forgot. Yeah, both of y'all tried that year. It was cool. <laughs> so, yeah, the butler was like, fuck it. If I can't beat him, I'm going to join him next year. I need to get some bumps, find out what they do. <laughs> don't, hey, don't even play me like that. You already know, but uh, he's like, yo, they didn't implement that shit over there. Ride it out, yo. This is how we get it, yo. <laughs> that, that was the guy. <laughs> hey, nah, man. Hey, look, ninety-nine percent of these teams run cover three. <laughs> hey, no bull. Hey, real shit. Everybody, yeah. everybody runs cover three. The if they, if they, if they, if they only rush in three, they ain't cover three. And sometimes when they rush four, they still ain't cover three. Oh Use yeah, the middle oh of yeah. The field. Use the middle of the field. Oh yeah, God, they just find the QB. I know that. God, I'm God. like, oh, shit. shit ain't rocket science, man. Shit ain't no, rocket. Oh hell no. Uh, I just be playing football, man. We weren't playing in math. I hit you up. I say, yo, you know, I'm always in your, I'm always, you know, in your, in your face, no, no boss, you know. <laughs> so you was the closest person on the team I talked to. So I just hit you up. Oh, yeah. Play. You know, me and you real good. We're good friends. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we try to get away for years now, you know. <laughs> He's like, yo, I can't beat him. Let me join him. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> like, let me get a chip with him. <laughs> nah, man. Bonus <laughs> Got a bonus game on Sunday. Man, wake Ross's ass up. Oh, Ross is wide away. I'm right here. Mm-hmm. He's good to go. <laughs> he ain't got his feet on the table this time. <laughs> <laughs> He knew I was going to teleport that water bottle. Oh, man. Mr. Wilson, there's going to be some good games, though, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. You like, it's can't damn mad scary, at like, the outcome this weekend. Every time I look at the – when I look at the bracket when I first seen it, I said, ooh. I said, okay. No. Yeah. It's a damn thing that, you know, it's like, you know, not all games. Like, you can't watch all these games. For nah, real. yeah. It's like, damn. Damn, that's going to be a tough one. Especially playoffs. If you're you wanting to yeah. live on Joey Blaze and Team Blunt Talk all day. You know, I, may, I may do that while I'm playing the game. You know, playing <laughs> Misfits. I may watch the other team play. Hey, man, get one of those, like, Google Glass things where you can watch it on, like, a pair of glasses or something yeah. while you're playing. Oh, hell no. Nah. You're trying to get me fucked up out there. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, take my glasses. They got Butler over there. Want, yo, give me his glasses, <laughs> Joe. I, <laughs> I need some glasses. <laughs> oh, no, nah, man. Bonus, <laughs> bonus game on Sunday, Washington County Championship. Tri-State Spartans, Broad Axe. You know, I'm gonna ask. Do you got David? Hey, I think Spartans might get them, man. They play Sunday or Saturday. Sunday they'll be playing. They'll be playing. I don't know what time. They haven't released a time yet on that one. Um, but they'll be playing down in Williamsport, Maryland, for the Washington County Championship. It's gonna be a good one uh, between those guys. So you got Spartans, David Butler. I'm gonna rock with the Spartans. I think it's time for them to get one. 
I think so too. You know, Don Brown, he's been in uh, flag football for 25 years now. No championship yet. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. I don't know if nobody else going to say it. Proc is an asshole on the low, man. Just be quiet with this shit. Hey, yo. These, hey, look, yeah. hey, yo, Prog is like a small <laughs> asshole, yo. Yo, he's been in the league for 25 years. Yo, do you, you realize, like, half of these kids playing now are, like, 22, 23? Like, yo, since their entire bro, you wasn't even in existence. <laughs> now, yeah, I was, I'm 31. I'm 31, so I was six when he started Say, coaching. nigga, you were six. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, yo. You know what? I'm sorry. Let me go back. That's a shame. That's a, a long ass time. Uh, yo, 25 years, time. yo. It's like, yo, it never was. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to retire at 35. I'm done. Oh, uh, yo. Hey, Eddie. Oh, what about shit. This, hey, yo, you've been in the same OMFFL league, yo, for 25 years and ain't win. She just I'd have been hungry. Like, yo, you got a chance to win this one as a coach at this time. Hold, hold on, hold on. The question is, have you ever made it to a championship? This is at well, oh. Don has about as a coach for oh. County B championship, which County B is kind of like more C bracket than anything. You know, put on a level of scale. Um, he lost all four of those. Um, runner up in the five man tournament. But so you lost C championships too. Yo, all right, Joe, don't even worry about it. Don't we don't need the history, bro. That's a lot, though. We'll stop the history, bro. <laughs> Damn. Ron, on the other hand, they're playing for what will be their potential 13th Washington County championship. They right. Had nine in the world at one point in this deck in the last decade. Um, they've been around since '92, started out as Noah Light back in the day. So kind of a battle between two very different okay. franchises. Uh, Spartans celebrating their fifth year anniversary, uh, following on the circuit. This is going to be a big game for them, in my opinion. Hey, Joey, I want to go back to this 25-year thing, though. 25 years? No. I'm good. <laughs> yo, I'm out, y'all. I'm going to have let y'all, man. Hey, be safe, y'all. See y'all Sunday, man. All right, man. See you Sunday, y'all man. <laughs> See you on Sunday. 25 years. <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs> hey, hey Frank, my like, yo, 25 years. You probably think you're like, damn, but I probably had like four championships 25 years ago. Oh, shit. I got the Spartans, man. <laughs> That's hey, funny. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Question, though. Do they got the same core players from, um, la- uh, from playoffs last year? Yes, those yeah. guys won't be there on yeah. Sunday. If they go hold, if they if they can stop, the, they can stop that D line. They'd be all right. They were very close to playing you guys for that championship. You remember they? It was 33-26 against Showtime last year in that championship. Chris Boone and company. Yeah, they put up thirty. I know it was. Parts gave a fight in that game. Oh, they did. I just um. The only thing about that missed this team, man. Ooh. Uh, them two tough games against the Warriors and, and against um no time in the regular season they showed us just all this just out there playing football man we ain't had no practice no nothing just just winging it but we made the plays the playmakers made the plays in that championship game. You had a big pick yeah. on Chris Boone uh, in that game. Hey, I gotta get little brother. Hey, little brother, get the credit for that though. I far tipped it. He had the bet that I just dove and picked it off. Hey, fellas, I got to get off here. I got to go get my daughter. All right, man. Yeah, All right, y'all. Y'all be safe, man. I'll see y'all Sunday, man. Bad boys in three, man. Remember that. <laughs> All right. I got on Sunday. I got Misfits. I got Tri-State. All right, y'all.